Hey guys, it's Quigley again with another ROM review and this time I've got Android Revolution HD for 40. That is the iteration is 40 uh, for Galaxy S3. So what is this ROM? Okay, this is a stock based ROM for Galaxy S3 uh, which is a leaked version, the 4.3 version. Uh, which has been leaked recently and made official by those guys uh, at Samsung but then abruptly uh, taken back because of a few networking issues and things like that but uh, as far as I know this does work as a decent ROM the leaked version uh, with a few problems of course but there are fixes for it at uh, XG developers so if you want to use this ROM you have to use the fixes but in this version it, they are pre-applied so yeah I think that is it about the introduction let's go to uh, options uh, about device so as I've said it is uh, in the latest uh, leak of stock ROM that is 4.3 that is the version UGMJ9 so uh, it is the latest leak version as you can see this is Android Revolution HD 40 by Mike uh, by Mike 1986 whatever the awesome guy awesome developer yes he, he gives out support 24 hours a day you'll see that in a bit so yeah that is uh, it about the about phone okay what else uh, it is a stock based ROM it doesn't do anything to change the touch with theme or touch with touch with interface so you are left with the vanilla touch with for Galaxy S3 I think that's a good thing because uh, a few people like myself, I like the uh, interface options and uh, the advanced uh, things that TouchWiz does for the phone to make it more useful. usable. So that is pretty good. Uh, let me show you guys the uh, features with which it comes. I have loaded the Chrome with it. So as you can see about the ROM, it is 4.3 XXU GMJ9 firmware which is the latest leak. Though it was taken down as the official one, it will come back. So if you guys want to wait for that, you can. Uh, full Samsung, okay, it is said here it is an improved version of stock ROM, no visual changes. So you have to live with that. ROM details, uh, removed software CPU, full Exynos 4 quad GPU rendering, that is a good thing. So well if you guys didn't understand what that is it's a good thing it's you want that okay fully optimized tweak root access uh, yada yada okay ROM optimization it does have a higher ROM uh, RAM usage uh, lower RAM usage compared to the stock ROM so it's pretty neat zipline on boot uh, something which is awesome it makes it faster in each boot mm, more optimal system scheduler etc yeah that is it so this is what I want to show you as this is a basic ROM like the stock Android S3 touchwiz ROM which has all the internal tweaks which makes it faster than the rest so that's something desirable at least for me I love the touch touchwiz inter uh, implementation of the user interface it uh, really makes you guys use the phone better unlike the AOSP ROMs which uh, has the stock vanilla Android now this one has a bit of uh, glitches or uh, tweaks uh, which makes user experience better so yeah this one has an aroma package I will show you guys the uh, options available in the aroma package um, so I guess that is it about the ROM uh, let me show you guys the aroma package and the boot animation first of all the boot animation does have a shutdown animation like that. So the vanilla Samsung boot animation. <laughs> that is it. Uh, it does have the stock S3 uh, boot sound rather than the S4 or whatever else the other ROMs are doing. So pretty neat. Let me show you guys the aroma package. What all will you get from whatever the thing is. So I am now installing the Android Revolution HD. Let it just get out to the brightness. Okay, as you can see, Android Revolution HD version 40 and for my device. Let's click next. 
Okay, these are the terms and conditions of use. Okay, it has it does have exposed framework, so it thanks to that guy. Okay, now uh, wipe user data. Do you want to wipe user data or you don't want to? If you're coming from a previous build of the same ROM, uh, you don't need to. But if you are coming from an entirely different ROM, you have to wipe data. So whatever you want to choose. Backup your EFS partition or uh, don't backup. That's your choice. Uh, I would personally back up EFS partition even though it's not required. It's just a safety module. Okay, now we have the apps which with which it comes. So these are the apps. Google Chrome, Maps, Street, Music, Plus, Now, Google Now, the latest version. You have to update that. Uh, Talkback, Keep, Hangouts, YouTube, and Google Drive. So, your choice. What other apps? We, these are the ones which you really need. I would suggest using all of these. Uh, maybe not Facebook or Twitter. Uh, rest of all of them are really required. Dropbox is something which is awesome. Yes, it's file explorer, everything. Go. Cool. Okay, these are the tweaks which you can opt in or opt out. Okay, you have ext ext4 performance which I always enable. Open VPN support. It's good if you use the side-to-side uh, -side connection, etc. Like that. SQLite tweaks use useful. Build dot proof for in performance increase. Cedar it does come with the Cedar app if you uh, were wondering. I didn't show you guys that. As remover uh, custom host file uh, updated from Adaway. So the app from Adaway you can use the app or you can use this one. Your choice. Expose framework if you want to use it or if you don't want to. Who cares? Next. So you have two options for super user. You can use super user by Couch or super user super sue by chainfire i pro i normally choose uh, super sue because it has a uh, better interface compared to the other one for me okay now install you press install now it will install no biggie so yeah i think that is it about the um, installation part of it uh I'm going to quit the installation because I have already installed this. I'm not going to flash it again. So let's reboot. So there you have it. I guess that is it about the uh, ROM, which well, I just received a new message. Hmm. Uh, touch with ROM, as I've already stated. Uh, touch with ROM, it works in all ways, um, apart from a few lag issues, which uh, the mods are already applied. So. Pretty much a stock ROM which you can use with amazing battery life. Yeah, I forgot to mention that it does have a huge battery life gain over the other AOSP ROM. So, there. So, I think that is it about the ROM. Uh, hope you like the video. Please subscribe, like, and share the video if you really found it useful. So, see you guys next time. Bye.